this is why we stand him. He was the only one throughout the whole damn movie who actually stood up for Mary Bell. The only one to stand up to her evil self throughout the whole movie. He basically said, you might be Julieta's mama, but you ain't mine. This man was raised right, and he got some cojones on him. Shoot, after this argument, Julieta about to go play with this man's chorizo. What's crazy was the whole time he was defending his daughter from the Wicked Witch of the West, the only thing this bitch cared about was the house. Look around. Must protect our family, our encanto. We cannot lose our home. Bitch, fuck the encanto and fuck your home. Your granddaughter is the only one who truly matters in this moment. Like, I hope this woman gets arthritis in both of her knees. I'm actually surprised encanto got two good dads because Disney is terrible at making good parents. Do you think you could apologize to Angie? And I'm not apologizing to that old bitch. Absolutely fucking not. I move churches. You're gonna make me drop a dong. <laughs> it gets worse because you won't tell me what's wrong. Nothing's wrong! He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman! It's what to the abuela and then the upper when she handles the weather. My mom Julieta can make you feel better with just one other bow. That I've seen well, he's accident from what he means well. And you said you wanna know what everyone does, I got teachers and cousins and Buenos dias to everyone who is not Mirabel.
Anyway, we have a very busy day today. Juanita, you do not understand. We can never be together because I am your nephew. <gasps> uh, Dolores, is there a problem? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I think I burned my tongue a little. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait for next season. He said my fish would die the next day, dead. Yeah, because you hadn't changed out the water in weeks. That fish was already swimming on its side when I saw it. He told me I'd grow a gut. As you eat like 10 arepas every meal, it was inevitable. He said all my hair would disappear. You had a receding hairline, easily observable by anybody. Literally none of these situations I used my powers for. That's not how it works in the first place. I don't make things happen, I just tell the future. Okay, well why can't you tell us something good? Okay, maybe because it's more important to prepare for the unpleasant stuff. You know what? Fuck y'all. One day life is gonna shit on you. You're gonna be like, oh, I wish Bruno were here to tell us ahead of time. Fuck off. Holy shit. You want to hear about global warming? Who am I kidding? Of course you fucking don't. In my 700th rewatch of Encanto, I noticed something weird. They have pictures of when all the kids first got their gifts, but if you look at the doors, it's them when they're older. Like the doors look the exact same as they do in the movie, even though they're kids when they got their doors, but they clearly look older. Like what? But then on Antonio's door, he's as old as he is when he gets his gift. So why? Do the other people look older on their doors? It would be one thing if their door grew up with them, I guess, but those pictures are from when they got their gift, when they were five years old, and they look like grown adults, so what? Guys, guys, I just realized. <laughs> Dolores associates him with the sound of falling sand, but it's just him throwing salt over his shoulder.
Hey yo, imagine being Peppa from Encanto. Okay, y'all know how her mood changes the weather, right? Imagine her giving birth to Antonio, Camilo, and Dolores. I swear, Hurricane Katrina must have swept through that damn hospital because that shit must have been painful as hell. But no, can we actually talk about how much emotional damage she received from Abuela? Like every time in the movie she got mad, she had a cloud over her head. Abuela was talking about some. Peppa, you have a cloud. Like, bitch, shut up. Who asked you? Let your daughter express her emotions. And I think that's why Peppa's so stressed out as an adult. She was always emotionally suppressed as a child. First of all, you old dusty troll, we're humans. We're supposed to have emotions. Second of all, how are you going to tell my man's Peppa how to use her powers when you don't even have any? Stop being mad at the world just because your husband got put down worse than old Yeller. Stop being mad because Peppa got a good husband and yours got Hannah Baker. This woman already has three kids to deal with. She don't need your hot, old, senior citizen breath breathing down on her neck every 20 minutes talking about control your emotions. Let her live. She is a grown-ass woman.